Hey, it's Livia from Learn Live Fly, and I'm here with my dear friend Lana. Hi, Hi. Lana. Thanks for being here. So today we are going to give you kind of an inside scoop look at doTERRA that you don't usually see from what you see in the media and the marketing and maybe the friends that you've known. There's a little bit more heart and soul that goes into this company, more than what you see on the outside. And Lana was just telling me a story that she had, <laughs> and it was really powerful. I'm like, we got to share this. Oh. It like, has to be shared. So I'm going to turn it over to you okay. and just tell us your story, and then I'll just chime in if I have a question. I mean, really, we were just talking today about how um, the leadership of doTERRA is so amazing and, and how they seem so genuine and authentic. And I had an experience years ago, like seriously 10 years ago, with with someone, one of the leadership team, that I just started to tell them. And at that point in my life, we were, I was driving this old beat up minivan, because it's just what we had. And I had a son that had a lot of behavioral issues, which the oils had worked miracles with him. But anyway, um, that I, I would drive down to Dalterra to pick up the orders from Wilcall. How far would you drive? It was about an hour and 15 minutes. And how old was your son? He was probably four okay. and, and he was nonverbal and my daughter was in college. Okay. So she had a college age daughter, a nonverbal four year old, <laughs> and they just were driven an hour and a half. You think? Yeah. And we've just driven an, an hour, hour and a half. half because I was just trying to save the shipping, you know, and I'd pick up a bunch of orders for people and, um, and then I'd, you know, my daughter, I'd go pick up my daughter from school and she'd come and sit with Drake. So anyway, they were in the car and I ran in to get the stuff and it was it took a little bit longer than anticipated. And when I came back out, my car wouldn't start. And so I was just like, oh, you know, stressed because I'm trying to get back before rush hour. And anyway, you know how it is. So I just thought, well, I need someone to jump my car. So I went back into the office. That was back when they were on Center Street. Yeah, so here's a question for you, for those of you who are listening. Have you ever been in that kind of a situation where you feel like maybe <laughs> maybe life is hard? Maybe you've got yeah. a broken down car and financial issues and you're driving an hour and a half to save $7 on shipping, which then yeah. costs you how much in gas? Like 30 bucks? Oh, maybe. 20, 20 30 I mean, in gas? No, now, granted, I pick up more people's I pick orders. up really like 30 orders. Yeah, so it know. was saving money, but it was the yeah. fact that that's what she was doing to save the money. Yeah, I've because never really thought about that. Because you're in that place. Yeah. When you're in that place, when it's like everything is hard, what can yeah. I do? I remember, um, this is just a little side note, when I very first started doing a whole bunch of this stuff, I didn't feel like I could afford a $25 ticket to a homeschool conference. And mm -hmm. so I reached out to the lady who was organizing it, and I offered to photograph her entire event, which would have cost her $500 <laughs> for a $25 ticket. And yeah. I was like, we do crazy things yeah. when we're in that state, and we're yeah. worried about life. And so this is what she did. She's got a four-year-old that's been well, sitting in the car for a And it's a four-year-old that has sensory processing disorder. And, yeah, I, I don't really know why I did it, but I was just trying to save myself seven bucks by paying 30 in gas and everybody else seven bucks, you know? Yeah. So I went in, um, after I'd gotten all the orders, you know, the car was dead, went back in and the girl that was helping me, I don't even remember her. I don't remember what her name was, but she was super sweet. And so I went back to her and I said, I'm super embarrassed, but my car battery is dead and I need someone to jump it. And she said, Oh, no problem. Let me go get my dad. He will do it. Okay. Well, I don't know this girl. I don't know anything. And so I go out to my car and out she comes with her dad and her dad was David Sterling. And he popped the hood of my car and pulled his car up and he jumped my car. And there wasn't ever a feeling of shame or judgment or anything but just true service. I don't even know if he remembers this, but he jumped, he jumped my car 10 years ago. And that in that moment, I knew that I could trust doTERRA. I knew that, that we were in good hands because that's, that's, that's who he was. So anyway, I, I love this company. I love what they stand for. And when you see him on the stage 
and how genuine he seems, um, I will tell you firsthand, that's real. That is what I saw that day 10 years ago when my little 20 year old van didn't have a battery or didn't have a charged battery. So yeah. there you go. It's a powerful story. And for those of you who might be watching who are like, cool, Dave Sterling, who's that? He's oh. one of the founding members. <laughs> There's seven founders yeah. of doTERRA. Yeah. And he was like the main head of doTERRA. Yeah, at that point, yeah. I mean, he was the CEO of doTERRA. Yeah. Yeah. At the beginning. So they were only yeah. two years old at that point, right? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah. So Lena's been with them since the very beginning when you well, said you almost were the very beginning. Close I, though. Yeah, they they weren't quite two years old. Yeah, yeah. but that's awesome. So. In these small intimate groups where she really got to yeah. see their heart and their soul. Yeah. And it's just amazing. So we're just yeah. gonna keep talking because I feel like we're supposed to. <laughs> so we're gonna keep talking here. So I joined yeah. what was it, two years after you did? A year? year and yeah. Half? Yeah. Yeah. After she did. And I've been in some of those situations where I've had maybe not the owners, but some of the top leaders that have been in those situations and they really legitimately care. Yeah. They care about people and they care about our heart. And one of the really cool things, I don't know what your favorite is. You can tell me a minute, your favorite things about doTERRA, but I love the healing hands and I love the co-impact sourcing. I love the, oh. the fact that every single step of the way doTERRA is blessing people step by step, drop by drop. They're paying for the farmers to have clean water and schools and hospitals and building their communities and creating sustainable income where these women can support their families and their kids can go to school and then they're saved from sex trafficking and poverty and all of these things that happen across the world while they're producing the most amazingly high potent pure essential oils yeah. that bless us on the consumer end with our mental, physical, yeah. emotional, spiritual, all of the health that there is, it supports us in living a more vibrant life. How about you? Yeah, I mean, I agree with all of those things wholeheartedly. Um, but for me, in the, the situation that we were in, my husband had lost everything in a business and we had moved from the East Coast back to Utah and I'd been a stay-at-home mom for 25 years and I just jumped in and was able to help support my family um, and support my family financially, but also <laughs> my son, the, the one that, that was in the car that had the sensory processing issues, um, those oils made all the difference. They, yeah. they did. And he really went from this nonverbal four and a half year old to, you know, within a year or so, he was completely verbal. He, everything that wasn't connected in his brain somehow connected. And though I can't really medically prove this to you, I can tell you the change came when I started consistently putting those oils on him. And now he's, he's completely normal. He's a completely normal six foot four, 15 year old boy. <laughs> It's awesome. Yeah. Okay, save the rest of that story. Yeah. We're going to record okay. that one separately okay. so you guys can hear <laughs> her story because that, that's yeah. another really great one. So thank you for joining us. doTERRA's heart is pure. Their intentions are pure. Their oils are pure. And they're helping people all along the way. And it's a beautiful thing that we can be part of that. You could be part yeah. of that. You can be part of that as a consumer who uses the oils to bless your family. You can be part of that as someone who wants to share them with others, who wants financial healing for yourself. Or for someone who has a big dream and a big, big vision of whatever it is that you want to create in the world. And this can be something that helps you get there. As well as surrounding yourself with a community of people like Dave Sterling. Yeah. These people who really, really care about others and we're, we're here to help each other. It doesn't matter what's going on. What was it? You earlier, we were at the convention today. And she opened the bathroom door and it gouged her toe. Oh. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm in pain. I'm like, oh, I've got this. And there's two other ladies in the bathroom. And they're like, oh, I've got this. I can help it. Oh, I've got this. And it was just like so many people. It doesn't matter where you're from or if they know you or if you speak their same language. Yeah. They're here and they're willing and they're ready to help. And it's just an uplifting, inspiring place and a community that you want to be part of. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So if right. you're here 
and you love doTERRA comment below tell us why you love doTERRA what's your best thing if you're not sure about doTERRA you don't know what it is then reach out to us you can find us at mydoterra.com forward slash learn live fly you can chat with us we'll, yeah. we'll help you lana is a mental health a yeah, I'm a, a clinical mental health counselor. Clinical yeah. mental health counselor, and I'm a life yeah. coach. <laughs> and between the two of us, like we can help you through any obstacle that might be in your way to making your dream come true. And we can help you believe in yourself and use DoTerra as a vehicle to help you to achieve whatever that is. Yeah, absolutely. So, thank you. Thank you. Comment below. Let us know what you thought. What you love about DoTerra. What you've seen um or maybe some reach out to us say what is your ailment what are you dealing with and how can we help if you know somebody who's in doTERRA who's already been working with you please go talk to them not us but you can still comment and tell us how awesome you love doTERRA <laughs> too okay we will thanks see you later watching. thanks